Hi guys and welcome back to another Sonic Academy Tech Tip. In this one we're going to show you how to rewire Ableton Live into Cubase. And to begin with uh, we're going to just open up Cubase 5. And you can do the same here for Cubase 4 or Cubase SX3. And they all have this, this function, rewiring function built into them. And basically whatever program you open up first is going to become the master. And whatever you open up second is going to become the slave and you can do the same thing for uh, running reason inside of Cubase um, it just works exactly the same way and instead of uh, initializing uh, Ableton Live you would initialize reason so for the purpose of this I'm just going to create a new project and make an empty project test folder and I'm just going to import a loop here and I'm just going to move it to the third bar and if I just create a loop between bars 3 and 5 okay so next we want to open up Ilden Live and you'll notice this will open up in it will come up at the bottom here saying running as rewire slave so now everything you do you see that the tempo and all has been locked out Everything you do inside here is going to be running in sync with Cubase. So if I was to hit play here, you'll notice that if I go to the range window, our uh, Ableton is running in sync now with Cubase. And anything that you preview on the left hand side here is going to play in time. Um, the first thing we need to do is uh, set up a bus to run between Ableton Live and Cubase and we can set up individual buses um, or we can just send the master to it and for the purpose of this I'm just going to send the master but if you go to Ableton Live, go to devices in Cubase and you scroll down to Ableton Live Rewire it'll open up this menu and you can initialize as many buses or, or uh, channels as you want in this case we're just going to use the left and right rewire channels, or the left and right uh, master channels. So if we go back to Ableton, so anything coming through our master channel is going to go into these channels here, which is our mix left and mix right. And in here you can actually just, you can insert all of the effects that you can inside Cubius. And so if we hit play now, and go back into Ableton, we can now preview our clips. And we can also drop them onto our range window. And if we change, make any changes in Ableton, it'll also reflect in Cubase. And for instance, if we wanted to send something to a particular channel on Cubase, we could do so by dragging whatever it is onto this audio channel and instead of sending it to the master if you click on your output settings and go to rewire out you can set it, send it to an individual channel so for instance if you want to send it to bus 5 or 6 or if you wanted to send a mono signal you scroll down you get all of the channels right up to 64 so if we send it to bus 5 and 6 for now, I'm going to turn the volume down a bit and play this back. And if we go back into Cubase, you'll see we've actually got that loop playing in bus 5 and 6 and our other loop playing in bus, uh, the master left and right. Okay, so that's how to successfully rewire Ableton Live into Cubase, and I'll see you again in the next tutorial.